has anyone had stalkers? Like, I'm wondering if I am the only person in the world who's had stalkers and how they've dealt with it. Like, like, stalkers as in, like, they would just wait around and watch everything you do. And this is a complete stranger, has nothing to do with you. And the only reason they're doing it is for their own pleasure. And it makes, like, the person being stalked really uncomfortable. And it's actually a violation of, like, a lot of laws. Like, they would be the type of person to, like, break into your house and steal a toothbrush that you were using. Or, like, steal all your used underwear or something. Like, those are stalkers. And, like... I can't even go anywhere in this country without somebody stalking me and I think it's because they're like honestly I think they're mental patients I think they're outpatients from a hospital and they don't really understand why it's inappropriate and then like I think some of them have refused to like take their medication or something I don't know what it is um I'm mentioning this because I'm at the airport and there is a guy who was standing at the entrance of the doorway until because I went in the bathroom and then waited until I was leaving the bathroom to go inside the building. It was just standing there watching me and I was like watching the bathroom, waiting for me, for me to go out so he can come inside the building. And I'm like, this is why I'm not going back to Toronto. Like there's so many people like that in Toronto and they all have this like weird vendetta against me. Like I did something to hurt them. Which is so weird. I didn't, by the way. And so I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This is just abnormal. Yeah, it's like, apparently there's been like numerous reports of women being stalked. Like, apparently I'm not the only one. But I'm not really sure if that's true because I haven't actually met anyone who's experienced this to the extent that I've experienced it as an unwarranted aggravated assault and like criminal harassment or stalking or whatever and it's like being done by both the homeless shelter residents and people who have homes and people who are workers in government positions and people who don't have jobs it it just honestly doesn't matter they are all stalking me regardless of the position they're in I'm not really sure why. Most of them owe me money or reimbursement for materials that they've stolen from me, to be fair. But other than that, like, I just don't understand what they'd want from me. I have legit, I'm literally homeless. Like, this is like, it's not even new to me, but like, I'm just like, oh my God. Also, I'm debating because I have to go back to this place I think I might have to, I mean, like, I'm not sure if I have to, but, like, this place for, like, food, and I don't know if I want to go back there, because, like, the residents have been, like, super aggressive, but I don't know if she's there all the time. It's a drop-in center, so maybe it's, like, one of those places that I'm not actually allowed to stay there 24-7. Like, maybe that was a problem, I'm thinking. Yeah. Who knows? Anyways. Yeah. Should I get a boyfriend? I just feel like a boyfriend right now would be a really bad time. The timing would be really off. No, it wouldn't. It would. Oh, I should probably start doing something about that. I don't know. Um. I don't even know how it would, oh, it would be so specific. I wonder if I'd get any matches. Should I even put myself out there? You know what? I'm not sure. Also, I found out who was behind the one fucking around with my fucking online stuff. Oh, some weird creep from like a different country who just like had some this weird vendetta against me. Never met him in person before in my life and he just decided to target me out of nowhere because he thought I was like a horrible person. Even though I wasn't, I think he's a horrible person. He was doing a little bit of a projection thing there. And transference, you know, like when people treat the person 
at the person that they are angry at. So, like, if you are angry at your boss and you go, like, see your friends and, like, you treat your friend as if that person was your boss that you pissed you off or, like, was being mean to you, yeah, you take all your anger you have at your boss and take it on your friend. Some people do that. It's called transference. I think I went over this in a different video. Yeah.